Now that we're done with all those Beast Wars figures, now we can finally move on to some other... Are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? For real, dude? Are you... Are you serious? Fine, you can have a video. Jesus. Alright, before we can end this month of Beast Wars anniversary, we have to take a look at Kingdom Megatron. As many of you may have known, or figured out by now, Kingdom Megatron has been uh, steadily up my ass for a review for the entire month, and has finally just taken it to a point where I have to give him his damn review, or he's going to just ruin every video from now on. And I can't afford to keep rebuying figures that he destroys. So let's take a look at him in dinosaur mode. Because if you're old enough to remember, originally they packaged uh, the original Beast Wars Megatron was in dino mode. And this is honestly my favorite way to display him. So it, yes, he is a panely mess. Everybody knows right now. It ain't like I'm the first one to review this and take a look at him. So, here you go. We got the green running down his back. Shift his tail back in. So, there... Well, okay. With all the panel mess, it actually has a lot of, of posability. Uh, by posability, of course, I mean, like, you can put things in different poses. I do not mean that he's going to stay there, because he is a balancing act. He is a balancing act and a half. He is not trying to stand up most of the time. He is very front heavy. You have to get the legs just right so that he'll stand up. So he's got this green down his back. He's got this uh, peach flesh tone color running up his stomach, which it looks really good except for a couple of spots, like on, the, on his neck right there. Uh, it's pretty much just on his neck, but I mean, it look where it looks like overspray more than intentional paint, which is unfortunate. So you've got open and closed mouth. His head moves around. He does have a blast effects port inside there if you want him to breathe fire. Yeah, you see what I mean? He just, he falls over all the time. Um, I wish these ratcheted, but they don't. They're on almost very smooth joints. I mean, you can get him there. Like, he's standing good now. He's probably too close to the camera. Um, and he's standing there now, but... His little, his little T Rex arms, they, they go up and down on little ball joints. And you can have him be... You can kind of... What is going on with his tail? Uh, you can kind of do the more uh, old version of a T Rex style. Or you can you can dip him down a bit and get the more realistic T Rex style. Um, so more natural, less Grimlock. More Grimlock, less natural. Look at these eyes. Uh, I need to move a light source so you can actually get the full effect of these eyes right in the camera. Yes. Alright. Take a look uh, at him next to some other bots. If you'll stay in one place for long enough. If you haven't noticed from my other reviews for the last month, he doesn't exactly cooperate with me. Um, so here he is with Kingdom Cheetor. Here he is with Kingdom Scorponok. Here he is with Kingdom, well, Worlds Collide, Nemesis Primal. Um, and you know what? I think if we're going to do a T-Rex dinosaur right, we're going to have to do it right. All right. Here is how he scales with other notable T-Rex transformers. 
for scale. All right, so here is Kingdom Beast Wars Megatron, since there's two Kingdom Megatrons. Uh, this is the simp version of Megatron. Um, if you've watched the show, you know what I mean. Um, I gotta be honest, it, it looks okay in robot mode. I hate transforming this figure because all of the things that like this rubbery plastic the flex that that stuff gives you are all the things that make me think I'm going to destroy this thing every time I transform it. I don't like it. And then there's some of the issues kind of carry over. So his weak hips or his weak legs sometimes will see if I'm holding his feet down, but if I bump around too much, you can see where he's not going to, he's super back heavy. Like there are full transformers smaller than the backpack on this robot. And I know I, I, I just, I don't like this. I, I get it. It had to be there. And it was on the original toy too. I had that. Um, I don't like that he's got a hand here that you can't do anything with. But for some reason is on a pin that allows it to do this. I don't understand it. I think we should have an option to click this off. That would have been cool. And looking at it, it's held on by um, a screw and a pin. So without that screw and a pin, it could have come off. And looking at the screw, it looks to me... Actually, I don't even think it's a pin. I think it's just a screw. And then a piece back here that looks like it was molded together. But it almost looks after the fact. Because the inner detail of that arm, if you look... Right here. And you look at where that connection point is. To me, that looks like that was molded to be a 5 millimeter port with a five millimeter peg that pegged into it. To me, this looks like they tried to engineer this to so that that would come off and you could use the arm. And for whatever reason, structural reasons, cost reasons, whatever, it wouldn't work. So they didn't do it. So with this arm, you have the hand, but you've got the grapple, the hook or the claw. Uh, you've got good articulation, it bumps into things. On this side, you can either uh, or you can upside down. I usually just have it upside down or to the side like this. Generally, he just stands if I ever have him in robot mode, which, like I said before, I kind of keep him in T-Rex mode, even though the T-Rex kind of falls over all the time. So maybe I'll change him. Maybe I won't. I don't know. So he's got his head's on a swivel. Uh, actually, wait, it's a ball joint. Barely. Or it's, ah, see what I mean? They just give. So, uh, yeah, this is Megatron Robot Mode. Again, like, I think it looks good as a, a T-Rex. Maybe a little bit panelly. I don't think it looks bad. I don't think it looks bad as a robot. I don't like transforming it, though. It scares me every time I transform it that it's going to be the last time. And I've got the T-Rex toy, and it I transformed it once. And I'm not transforming it back for this video. Because the same reason. And it's a remold. So, or a repaint of a mold that got used however many times when they made this. So, who knows if that thing's structurally sound. But we can throw a couple of robots next to him. Um, of course, we have to put... Primal. And... Dinobot. And... Actually, let's change it up and I'll grab this version of... Black Arachnia. And... Rhinox. Laying down. Because I'm not messing with it. So, here, here's Megatron for you. Um, 
All right, let me move around some of these bots and clean them up and let's see if I can't get them into a decent pose and then we'll talk about it. All right, so let's talk about it. Uh, the first thing I'd like to point out, though, if you'll notice, is if you collect bot bots, if you've ever collected bot bots and you've ever gotten the little yellow rubber ducky bot bot, it fits in his mouth perfectly. Now I just need to find a bot bot that's a toothbrush. So, I mean, if you notice, even this, like, quote, action pose, isn't it's, I moved his arms around a little bit and his legs, a little bit different stance and turned one of the legs to get this kind of pose, which this would be the way I would probably pose him with the rubber ducky because it's funny. Um, do you need Megatron? Of course you need him. Of course you do. Even if he's a, even if he was as bad as Rhinox, you would still need him if you're trying to do anything with the Kingdom line or if you're trying to have updated Beast Wars figures. Like, you need this robot. Um... The the rubbery skin they used, I don't like. I, I would have preferred them use hard plastic instead of trying to use this rubber skin. Um, which is actually kind of funny is like, one of the things that might have even helped Rhinox would have been if they used the rubber skin on him. <laughs> um, because of some of the tolerance problems, at least that I see with it. And then they turn around and they cover... Megatron and rubbery skin, and I don't think there's any other ones, just the T-Rex mold. Um, yeah, it's Megatron. Do you need it? Yes, of course you do. Um, is it better than the original one? Arguably, yes. The original one um, with the squirt mouth, the, squ the little squirt gun in his mouth and stuff, little, little gimmick is kind of cool, but it doesn't really look good. If you really look at one of those original Beast Wars Megatron in either mode they don't look great this looks better in every way it's just um i say be careful transforming it because i have a feeling this is going to be one down the road where everyone's looking for them and you'll find them on ebay and the hips are broken or the arms are broken or these back panels are broken i'll tell you these two pieces here are spring loaded the springs already don't work the figure's not that old and it's only been transformed a couple times so there you go um all right um, so that actually concludes the, uh, my videos for the 25th anniversary of Beast Wars. Um, go take a look at tformers.com and you'll find loads more content on the Beast Wars anniversary. Um, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and YouTube, 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 I'm out.